Easy peeps and welcome back to another episode of Started From The Bottom, The Road To Glory. Now, late last night, EA dropped a madness with a new promo called Foot Swap. We'll talk about it afterwards, but basically the first card you can actually get is this Alvado Negredo, which is available in the DKT. This is the team we are going to be rocking for the DKT. Ronaldo, Rui Costa, the 87 Del Piero, which is an absolute gem. Whew, first up, Bruce FC. Wow. Wow. Oh my, I hope he qualifies for the weekend league. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? So the video we released earlier, that was only that was going to be the video for today. Um, when we talked about there's nothing else to do but play the DKT. And it's a shame for people that haven't qualified that you have to play it, etc, etc. So imagine that Monday, Tuesday, you wanted to qualify for the weekend league, but you couldn't. Because you haven't really got the teams because there was a restriction where you could only play with five gold players maximum. So you decided to wait until Wednesday because there was no special requirements on the Wednesday challenge. And then late on the Tuesday night, EA, well it's about midnight Tuesday UK time, EA decided to release a brand new promo called Foot Swap and then completely change the directive for the Wednesday and Thursday DKT tournament so basically now you are not going to qualify if you you know if you are somebody that struggles to qualify this DKT has now got a hell of a lot sweatier <laughs> and you can just see by the team we're facing here absolute madness all of that and Nike didn't have enough good players he also bought on Ronaldinho as well but we get a penalty after it's 1-1 we managed to slot that home to make it 2-1 in 105. Yeah, so it's a shame, man. Don't get me wrong. This promo, though, on the face of it, looks decent. Um, afterwards, we will talk about the actual promo and the benefits and stuff like that. But, yeah, on the face of it, it, it does look good. It looks good. Then you dig a little bit deeper, and then EA released a separate tweet. And, it, and on the face, you know, it, it, then it doesn't get so good. But I am just happy for things to do. And I'm, I love when they give the DKT something, you know, just a reward, something for it, something to obtain, something to achieve. I just think it should be a separate tournament. I just think this is a shame for those people that haven't qualified now have to try and go through this. So the first game, we had 96 Ronaldo. Second game, we've got 96 Ronaldo. These are the teams, man. This is madness. Absolute madness. Imagine you you wanted to qualify. You you thought, no, I, I, I don't want to play with only five goals. I'll wait till Wednesday and then this happens. Unlucky for you. However, it might it might spur you on to try and get the Negredo. It might spur you on. Negredo is the first one of this new foot swap promotion. Um, so the foot swap promotions will be or the cards will be available via DKTs, SBCs and weekly objectives. The promotion runs until the 23rd of April. So you're looking at around about 19 days. So, but, and that, that, that was it. That was it. That's all they dropped. And that was like, man, this is amazing. Twitter completely exploded going, this is one hell of a, this is a great promo, GGEA. Well done for doing back-to-back -back promos, stuff like that. Keep it more interesting. And then it kind of like filled the gap until team of the season. Then they released another tweet saying you can only obtain 12 collectibles. And we'll see what that means after we show you the gameplay footage. I, I'll, sh you know, I'll show you what that means in terms of what you can do. But it just kind of makes the promotion just just slightly die. Just slightly die a little bit. And this isn't moaning. It's just it's a great idea. It's a cracking promotion. It's just the execution is just slightly off. You know, if there's people out there that want to grind, let them grind. We're seven months into the game now. You know, it's not all about worrying about if somebody can get this card for free. Because it's not free because we're putting in all of the time. And the objective of all of these promos, in honesty, is to take people away from playing other games. Now, the only way that you're going to do that is give them more things to do. Give the grinders things to grind. Give the people that want to buy packs 
you know, give them more promos and stuff. But this just feels like a little bit of a coin drain. Anyway, we'll talk about that after this final. We are now in the final and we face the worst team that we actually faced. Crazy, absolutely crazy. So this must be a really good player to be in the final. But we're 29 minutes in. We managed to go 1-0 up. Off a well executed free kick. We did it slightly different where we just played it out to the right rather than try and play into the runner. And it worked very, very well. We go 2 0 up just before 40 with Ronnie bagging himself another goal. Then your man, Eddie, he gets one back. A few bounce backs here and there, and he gets one. 2 1. We're still in the lead. But then we managed to do a swift reply on the attack, and we manage to get another goal from Dal Piero. Dal Piero, I absolutely adore this 87 card. Absolutely adore it. It's amazing. And there we are. We're in the final. We won the final and we get the special Alvaro Negredo card, the foot swap item, and we get 2000 coins. Now, so let's go uh, let's go to the actual console and we'll see what we can do with this card and how it pans out. So we've just won ourselves the Alvado Negredo. So that's one foot swap item that we have. Under your tabs, you will see foot swap deals. And there's numbers to them. So you've got one. That means one foot swap item is required. That means two. That means three. That means four. And so on and so on. So basically what EA did, they released this promo. Everybody thought it was absolutely fantastic. You can see there's 23 days remaining there. Then they put a caveat on it where you will be able to obtain 12 collectibles. So that means you won't be able to grind and get all of these players. Now, if you look at these players, most of them are actually unusable anyway, really, at this stage of the game. You know, there's some nice additions you wouldn't mind having in your team. You know, like we had um, Baldadio, we had the uh, ones to watch version. This is a great card and it'd be, be good to see what he's like as a striker position. So, you know, this is a decent card, but at the end of the day, it's only an 84. You know, stamina is not going to be that great. Only 73 physical, but it's pretty decent as a decent card. For two foot swipe swap items, that is a decent card. The Jordan Henderson, a little light on pace, but every other stat looks absolutely stunning. So, you know, that's a great card for two foot swipe items. Wendell, you, you know, that's a strong link to Bailey if you've got Bailey. That's another good card, a usable card. Then you've got a rare goal pack for three foot swap items. That's not so good. Um, Koke, 74 pace. Yeah, okay. Not not the not the most usable card, but pretty decent. 87 rated for four uh, foot swap items. Uh, a pie, pie, pie. <laughs> Can I have an apple pie, please? A pie for uh, four swap items as well. 86 again, not the greatest. Um, yeah. Not the best card. A Santi Cazorla um, for another four. Again, 70 pace. That's pretty weak. So, you know, that isn't a good... There's loads of cards that are better than that. Uh, prime gold players pack. Yeah, that's okay. But that's quite a lot for five. Then you've got Zlatan. So, again, decent. Not bad. 90 rated card for seven items. Uh, an Insigne, an 88 rated card for seven items. A Verna, 85 rated card for seven items. But obviously, he has got the pace. So that, that looks like it's a great card. But obviously, it's a right wing version. So it might not be as usable. And then for uh, 10 items, you get a 125 uh, pack. 125k pack. So that's the ultimate pack. For 10 items, yep. And then for 11, you get either Luka Modric, which looks okay. Again, pace is a little bit light. A Tevez, which looks decent. You know, old school Tevez, that looks absolutely decent. And then a Sanchez, which I think looks like the pick of the bunch and with a striker position in it as well uh, for 11. So, you know, when this first come out, everybody's like, right, we can grind this, we can grind that. I want to get Sanchez and Baldadio and I might get an ultimate pack and stuff like that. But obviously you can only obtain 12 items. So if you did want to go for one, and that's if you can do everything, that's assuming you can win the DKT every time. That's assuming that the SBC that they release is actually uh, affordable. I've just got a slight feeling that it might be a bit of a coin drain for team of the season. So it's, it's imagine you've got 10. 10 foot swap items and then they release an 85 rated SBC and that's going to shoot up to costing you 50 50,000 plus coins easy and you want the extra one so before you know it you might have pumped in two weeks worth of gameplay 
and then 150,000 coins to get this untradeable Alexis Sanchez. So you've also got to think about that as well. But my recommendation is this. We, I mean, you can see what we'll do. Um, you can see what you can do here. So if we just look at the Baldadio, if we just go into the Baldadio, a little bit of lag, of course. You can see, so there's a Negredo that we've just obtained. Then if we obtain another one, we can put the other one in the other slot, whatever that card may be. And then we can swap those two items and then we get an untradeable Baldadio. So that's basically how it works. So you've got a choice of what you want to do, but you can only obtain 12. So think about it. Don't go and obtain, um, sorry, don't go and rinse one straight away because you might regret it. Just wait, wait until the 23 days is over. See how many you've got and then decide who you want. Like I said, I've just got a feeling that they've, they have said it's going to be through DKTs, SBCs and weekly objectives. I've just got a feeling that the SBCs are just there to design to drain coins. So they could be expensive. So in your, you know, in your mind, you might think, right, I've won a DKT. I've done the weekly objective. I'm going to get myself Alexis Sanchez. And then they bring out three SBCs, which could cost you 200,000, 150,000 coins. Then that, that makes this Alexis Sanchez then a little bit less desirable. Um... Granted though, if you was to purchase that card on the market, you're looking at what, seven, eight, nine hundred thousand coins. So it's a decent card, or even with the position change, it might even go for a milli. But you've got to think it's untradeable. You've got to think about that. So obviously this promotion is designed to drain your coins in preparation for team of the season. So just be careful. But apart from that, well done EA. It's good to have something else to do. Now all we need to do, you know, all we need now is how regular is the content going to be? Um, obviously, if there's only 12 collectibles available, you've got 23 days. So that would assume, you would assume there's one every two days. Um, so whether that's going to be an SBC or we'll see Friday when a weekly objective drops. You know, it might be something decent. It might be something, you know, they might put all five different cards onto the weekly objectives. Of course, your other option as well is not to swap any of them and just keep the cards you win. That's another option, but obviously they're just basic gold cards, so you don't really get anything out of that. But, straight off, if I was to think, right, which one are we going to go for? I'd immediately think, right, we're going to go for Alexis Sanchez, and we'll see how we do. I might change my mind along the way, but let me know. Who, who, who do you like the look of? Who do you think you're going to go for? Do you think you'll be able to get all the 12 collectible items, or are you just going to try and go for the packs? Let me know in the comments section below, but for today... That is it. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, please turn your notifications on. That's important because you might not know when a new video goes live because it might not necessarily hit your sub box due to the way YouTube run all of their algorithms and stuff like that. If you could hit a thumbs up on the video, that would be absolutely appreciated. But forget all that. More importantly, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in a bit.